Hi there. Um, today I'm going to walk you through, um, it's, well it's actually fairly long, it's a uh, missile command clone, it's a, a basic missile command clone written in Python and uh, compared to some of my other tutorials this is using what I call the simple Python game library which is a, a game library that I wrote to kind of simplify some of the things you'd need to do to make a game. So um, yeah, so let me uh, show you what the game itself is going to look like when we're done and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna, if, you, if you're curious, I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is from Microsoft. It is cross-platform, runs on Linux, which I'm using. It runs on Windows, of course, and Mac as well. Uh, but you can use whatever uh, you know, text editor or ID you want. It doesn't really make a difference, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so here is, if you're not familiar with Ms. Command, here is the game and here's what it looks like. So notice we have a splash screen that comes up talks a little bit about the game and again it's this is very much still a work in progress basically there's an enemy and there are missiles coming down I have three silos and I have six cities so my objective is to protect my city so if I click here I shoot a missile and it explodes and I destroy the enemy so now I'm on level two I'm not sure what happened there <laughs> something is so you notice I'm shooting, it's coming from different places. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with that guy. Unless he's going to come over here. I haven't seen that happen before. Well, like I said, it is an alpha version. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why that happened. I'll have to look into that later when we get through the program. But you can see here, we've got different levels, um, score, uh, different cities, number of silos. Uh, player starts out with 30 missiles. And as we go up in each level, the enemy has one more missile. So level one, there's one missile, two, and so on and so forth. Again, this is not completed yet. Uh, it's just kind of a, a demo. So there are still a few bugs, but it'll, uh, I think, get you through uh, some interesting things. Uh, the first thing you want to think about uh, is, as I mentioned, it uses this SPGL. So if you go to this website, I've already got it opened. This is my GitHub account. And what you need to do uh, is well, you can, the easiest way is just to download the whole thing as a zip file and open it. That way, you have all the files. Uh, in here, you'll see debris. This is a kind of sample game. So, if you've downloaded all these things, uh, you can open that up, and it's it's a pretty fun little game. Uh, it's you know again easy. Demonstrate some of the power of this this game engine uh, or library, however you want to call it. And but what we're going to need today, the actual ones you'll need is this SPGL minimum example. Uh, you're going to need the spgl.py. This is the actual library that I wrote. And then splash.gif because it looks for this uh, image uh, to, to show you. So once you have those downloaded, um, you can open them up into your, they should be in the same folder. Open it up into your favorite text editor. Again, as I mentioned, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. So let me, oops, that's not what I want to happen. So I'm still getting used to this one myself. Okay, actually, I'm not going to show that. Um, okay, uh, it's, sorry, I'm still getting used to this myself. Okay, so this is the SPGL minimum example, and what this is is this will start out with a very basic functioning game window. Okay, so. Uh, in Python, you need to import what's called the SPGL. So this assumes that SPGL.py is in the same folder. And it also assumes that uh, splash.gif is in the same folder. Okay, so just have some comments here. So I'm creating a game object. It is an SPGL game. The window is going to be 800 pixels by 600 pixels. Background color is black. The title uh, is going to be, for this particular window, uh, is SPLG code example by you wine and 1004 it's on reddit or Tokyo EdTech and there's nothing after that um, so the default is to show the splash screen for five seconds and then we'll talk about all this other stuff later and what happens is we have our main game loop here and there's a special method of the game called tick and what that does is it updates all the sprites and all the different things that we're going to create later so if I run this you'll see 
Now this is my splash screen. That's already done. And then it keeps the window open for us. The game is running uh, because there's no other code. That is all that we have. But let's get started into our next video.